So you've been looking for a way to jailbreak your PlayStation 4 on official system software 11.00 or lower. I have great news for you. You found it. I'm going to show you how to use this all-in-one kit to quickly and easily jailbreak your PlayStation 4 in just a matter of minutes. Come on, let me show you how to level up your PS4 setup. The kit is called the P4 Tool. It has everything you need inside to jailbreak a PlayStation 4 on official system software between 9.00 and 11.00. The first item is what's called a luck box. It's a development board that has an Ethernet port on one side, and in this case, a USB-C port on the other. On the bottom of the case, you'll also find a switch that says 9.0 on one side and 11.0 on the other. If you have official system software with a 9 or a 10, leave the switch to the right. If you have system software 11.0, move it to the left. In this case, I have system software 11.0, so I've moved it to the left. You'll also find the following in the box. An Ethernet cable, a USB-C to USB-A cable, a USB-A drive that contains the gold hen payload for your PS4, and a color instruction manual that contains screenshots with useful guidance for getting things set up and running. Okay, so that's everything that's inside the kit. Here's how to put it to use. Start by plugging in the Ethernet cable into the Ethernet port on the Luxfox. Then plug in the other end of the cable into the Ethernet port on the back of your PlayStation 4. Plug the USB-C end of the cable into the USB-C port on the Luxfox and then plug the other end of the cable into a power source. Next up, insert the provided USB drive into the rightmost USB port on your PlayStation 4. When you turn on your PS4, there are some key settings that need to be adjusted in order for things to work correctly and to protect your existing version of your official system software. Go up to the top navigation ribbon, slide over to settings, and press the X button. The first thing I would recommend doing is disconnecting the internet from your system so that no official software is downloaded by accident. To do this, scroll down to Network and press the X button. The first listing in the submenu says Connect to the Internet and it probably already has a checkbox here. Press the X button to remove the checkbox from Connect to the Internet, then press the circle button to go back. It's a good idea, especially if you haven't turned on your PS4 in a little while, to verify the official system software that you have currently installed on your system. To do that, scroll down through the list of settings until you find the one that says System. Press the X button to select it. The very first listing in the submenu is called System Information. Press X to select it. You'll find the official system software version number directly underneath the system name. In this case, name subscribe, so you don't forget to subscribe to the channel while you're here. Remember that the official system software needs to be between 9.00 and 11.00 for this kit to work. Press the circle button once to go back in the navigation structure. Press down on the D-pad to go down to the listing for automatic downloads and select automatic downloads with X. No matter which of these boxes is already checked, use the D-pad to move the highlight to each of them and press the X button to uncheck them. The last thing you want is to have an official system software update overwrite your precious jailbreakable firmware, because if it does, it's a real horror show to try to reverse it. Also, the tools that are required to make this reversal are not readily available to the end user. With all of these boxes unchecked, press the circle button to go back one level in the menus then press the circle button again to go back to the settings main menu. Now that all of these configuration steps are taken care of, you can now recheck the box that says connect to the internet. In the settings menu, navigate back up to network and then press the X button to go back into the network settings. With the highlight defaulted to connect to the internet, press the X button to put a check mark back here. No matter whether you normally connect to the internet over a wired or a Wi-Fi connection, you'll need to set up a new wired connection. Come down to set up internet connection and select it with the X button. If it's not already defaulted to it, press down on the D-pad to move the highlight down to use a LAN cable and select it with X. At the screen asking you how you want to set things up, press down on the D-pad to move the highlight down to custom and select custom with X. In the Address Settings section, make sure you move the highlight down to PPPoE or Point-to-Point -point Protocol over Ethernet and select it with X. You can enter absolutely anything you want here for the user ID and password information. I'm a big Tron fan, so I picked iFight for the users and Flynn Lives. Since you're not actually taking your PlayStation 4 online during this process, there are no security risks for any user ID and password you enter here. Once you're done, use the D-pad to move the highlight down to Next and select Next with X. For the DNS settings, you can select Automatic with the X button. For the MTU settings, it's exactly the same. Just press X for Automatic. 
And for the listing for proxy server, make sure it's highlighted on do not use and press X to select it. Once this process is complete, you'll see a confirmation message on screen. To attempt the jailbreak process with the highlight on test internet connection, press the X button on the controller. When the test is run, you should see two results. The first is it should be able to obtain an IP address, but it should report back that the internet connection has failed. Don't worry, this is an expected behavior. Instead, hang loose and just give your system a few moments to attempt to initiate the jailbreak process. It may take up to a half a minute or so for things to get working, but hang in there and just let the process do its magic. And just like that, the process will take its first attempt to unlock your PlayStation 4 for the jailbreak process. It will likely say something like cannot connect to network. Don't sweat it, again, this is an expected behavior. I don't want to belabor the point, but I want to make sure you understand, don't touch anything at this point. Just leave it exactly where you found it and give your system a few moments to work out the process. I just don't want you to feel like nothing is happening if you see a stationary screen on your system for a few moments. You may see the cannot connect message more than once, but in this instance on the second attempt, there it is, the first signs of life that the jailbreak process is working correctly. You should see a message that says the payload was transferred to the internal hard drive. Now you won't have to insert the USB drive into the PlayStation 4 for future jailbreaks. Next, you should see a pop-out message that Gold Hen is being loaded to your system and a subsequent notification once Gold Hen has been successfully loaded to your PlayStation 4. Moving forward, all you have to do is run the test internet connection process rather than the complete setup process shown here to initiate the jailbreak. Press the PlayStation button to go back to the home menu of your PlayStation 4. Let's make sure everything went to plan with the jailbreak process. Go back up to the ribbon and select settings again. If you look at the top of the settings menu, you'll see a new menu setting here called Gold Hen. If you press the X button here, you won't find anything new there. Let me show you where to go find all of your new found Gold Hen power instead. Press the circle button on your PS4 gamepad to go back to the top navigation ribbon. Go all the way over to the left of the ribbon using the D-pad and you'll see a new menu item here that's called Gold Hen. Press the X button to select it. This is where you're going to find all of the new menu items and options for Gold Hen on your PlayStation 4. One of the really great things about this kit is that you can do software updates as they're made available to both the Luck Fox and the USB drive. I've placed a link to this website in the video description so that you can learn how to download and update the most recent software for both the Luck Fox and the USB drive. Awesome, you've got your PlayStation 4 jailbroken, but there's still one lingering problem here. There's nothing fun to do with it yet. Let's fix that. Learn how to play thousands of your favorite retro game backups on your newly modded PS4 with this video shown on screen and linked in the description and pinned comment.